Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and in this session of the video, we're going to talk about the divisions of the abdominal wall into the nine regions. So this is the second part of the abdomen. Uh, we have talked about the introduction in the earlier video. So now in this session, we're going to talk about the divisions of the abdominal, abdominal wall. So we divide abdominal wall into nine regions. Why we divide it? Ever thought about it? So there is a big reason why we divide the abdomen or you can say the abdominal wall understand it this way so whenever there is any kind of pain these divisions help doctors to diagnose which part is affected and what structures are present beneath it like if if there's a problem over here over here or anywhere doctor if you if you go to the doctor and you you talk to the doctor that i have got a problem in my abdomen at this point so doctor will diagnose that what structures are present beneath it and possibly what problem could be uh, uh, what problem could be because what structures are looking beneath, beneath them are maybe causing the problem or the pain so that's why uh, we divide the abdomen into these nine regions so we are going to talk in very much detail about these nine regions, how they're made, where they're start, where they end, why, all that about it. So be with me till the end. So before starting, about, before making some lines, I have to make a two concepts clear. First, we have to take two dots, one dot over here, over the supra, this notch, that is above the sternum, I forgot its name. And there is a pubic symphysis over there another line, another dot over here so in between or you can say mid i'm sorry it's small it's not that so in mid or you can say middle of mid to these two points we take another point and this is this and this point helps us to create a horizontal line so what, what are we going to take? We are going to take one point at the supra sternal notch, another point we are going to take at the pubic symphysis. These are just dots, you know, to make us understand where we have to make the lines. And the third point, uh, for other things, we take at the mid or between first and second point, this dot. So this dot actually helps in creating this horizontal line. So this horizontal line also, or you can say horizontal plane is also called as the Edison's plane or you can say trans pyloric plane at this level so uh, which is also at the level of L1 if you go to posterior to the uh, spine it's at the level of L1 so these two lines help and in between them we got this point so this is a transfer or a tra or trans pyloric plane so we have created one line we have got two uh, vertical line to uh, horizontal lines so these are divided into nine regions one two three four five six seven eight nine they have different names this one we have created uh, how we took it uh, how we took the point and how we divided it. you got it easily and the second line this is the first line clear the second line or horizontal line this one so this is actually taken this horizontal line so this actually we take two points one over here one over here and these points are actually located on the iliac tubercle so we take a imaginary horizontal line from both iliac tubercle and we go straight word imaginary line horizontal plane and this plane uh, will 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 make this plane and this plane is located this horizontal plane is located between the two iliac tubercles so this is the second horizontal line now let's talk about the two uh, two vertical lines so vertical lines are very much easy in a concept that uh, these i'm sorry about the creating uh, these are the uh, clavicles but they bit look a bit down it's uh, a diagrammatic fault these are clavicles so from the mid of the clavicle of both I'm, I'm talking about the one so you understand it also applied on this one so from the mid of the clavicle we take a straight line which which goes to the mid of the inguinal ligament this is inguinal ligament this is the clavicle we go mid and we go from mid we go vertically downward and we create this vertical line to the mid this is the mid inguinal uh mid to the inguinal ligament and mid of mid of the clavicle so this vertical this vertical line is created 
and this actually causes uh, the vertical line so this cause these all lines together causes the abdominal region to divide into nine regions so these nine regions have different names so let me name each and every region so this consider this is the right side this is the left side and this is the middle region so in here first we got the first region over here is called the epigastric region epi gastric region all right this is the epigastric region this one over here the umbilical is located so that's why we call it the umbilical region very easy and down there guess it you guess it right it's hypo gastric region that's it epigastric umbilical region and the hypogastric region but as we go to we talk about this one so the names that are here are also applied on the right side so there's a difference on uh, of the words right and left so we have got left l left hypochondric region you can say that hypochondric region just write it down so this is left hypochondric region so this is right hypochondric region so this is uh, on the other side but as we go down this is the left lumbar lumbar region so this is right lumbar region very simple and we go down we get the left iliac region left ili region similarly we get the right iliac region look very simple we have divided the abdomen into nine regions by specifying how we can take lines and very much easy so i hope i made the, the point clear and easy so please make to make sure to comment us and let us know what we can um what we can offer you in teaching keep visiting tiger schooling